Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. I am thrilled uh, to welcome you all here to the University of Pennsylvania. Um, thank you for coming uh, from near and from far. I know that we have both panelists and uh, guests in the audience who hail from places as close as a few blocks away in West Philadelphia uh, to places as far away as San Diego, uh, Japan, uh, and Cambridge in the United Kingdom. So um, it's, a, it's a real testimony to the importance of the subject uh, and especially to the long influence of my former colleague Michael Katz, uh, to whom this conference is a tribute that you've all gathered here today. I'm Tom Sabru. I'm the director of the Penn Social Science and Policy Forum, which is a university-wide initiative uh, to support policy-relevant research uh, here at the University of Pennsylvania, to bring together faculty, students, policymakers, and the public uh, for informed discussion uh, of major problems and opportunities in our world. The Social Science and Policy Forum organizes around annual themes. Our first annual theme in 2012 was the global economic crisis. Last year's theme was immigration and citizenship. And this year's theme, germane to today, today's conference, uh, is poverty and opportunity. This year's theme on poverty and opportunity, of course, coincides with the 50th anniversary of the war on poverty. So it is fitting that we begin our year with an overview of the past half century of poverty policy um, in the United States and beyond, of the skirmishes that we fought against economic insecurity and joblessness, of the social movements uh, that took to the streets but also worked through welfare offices and legal clinics to shape anti-poverty policy and programs, to uh, examine the scholarly research and policy innovation that shaped, sometimes for better and sometimes for worse, the trajectory of programs uh, to deal with poverty and opportunity and community, and of the political, cultural, and economic circumstances uh, that shaped and constrained anti-poverty efforts both then uh, and in the intervening 50 years. The war on poverty, we shall see um, in the cutting edge research that uh, our, our presenters are going to be uh, sh uh, sharing with us today, uh, the war on poverty has to be understood in the context of national and global uh, macroeconomic restructuring. It has to be understood in the context of a triumphal but also limited liberal vision um, in the 1960s. It needs to be understood uh, in the context of the intensely racialized and gender constrained politics of the mid 20th century and beyond. As we look out onto the war on poverty, um, we also have to uh, today commemorate the extraordinary career and scholarship of uh, our colleague Michael Katz, uh, who was involved in the very first uh, uh, planning of this conference more than a year ago. His pioneering scholarship on inequality, on cities, on poor people, and the institutions that attempted to control them and modify their behavior. In all these respects, uh, Michael uh, transformed the ways that we think about the history of the lived experience of poverty, as well as the policies um, often misguided um, that we have deployed in an attempt to manage poor people uh, and deal uh, with their lives. This conference uh, honors Michael because of his keen analytic mind, his unsurpassed mentorship, uh, and especially his unwavering commitment to rigorous scholarship in the service of social justice. Michael was uh, the model of an engaged academic. He never drew a bright line between his scholarship and the world around him. He also never saw uh, uh, acad the academic role uh, as simply a publicist or a polemicist, but rather believed that scholars needed to deploy their tools uh, deeply, rigorously, to engage uh, the larger problems of the world. Michael asked hard questions in his work. Uh, in his articles, he deployed some of the cutting edge quantitative methodologies of the day and advanced the relationship between history and the social sciences. 
His work could reach uh, the narrowest specialist interested in um, the finest tools uh, available for quantitative research. But Michael also wrote uh, in his books and in his many articles for audiences that went well beyond uh, the walls of the academy. He did so through pathbreaking books like The Undeserving Poor, uh, which will be the subject of the first roundtable um, at today's conference. Uh, he did it as well in articles and op-eds that he wrote in places as diverse uh, as Dissent and the New York Times. He also engaged uh, the world beyond the narrow walls of the academy through working with the Social Science Research Council uh, on its urban underclass project in the 1980s and 1990s. Uh, insisting that the SSRC bring a historical perspective uh, to a debate about the so-called urban underclass uh, that rest, rested often on untested uh, assumptions about culture and behavior uh, and, and uh, wrote as if history began in the 1970s or the 1980s, not much earlier. It was Michael's commitment to engage scholarship that brought him in, to other interesting places outside the walls of the academy. He advised Pennsylvania's governor on welfare policy um, in the early 1990s at a critical moment when states were becoming, uh, for better and mostly for worse, uh, the places of experimentation for anti-poverty policy. Michael also spoke regularly to groups both inside and outside the academy, including to social welfare organizations, community groups, um, even activist uh, reading groups, uh, where he presented some of his most recent work uh, including uh, parts of his book, Why Don't American Cities Burn, uh, which was published just a couple of years ago. Michael had the two essential qualities of a poverty warrior. Uh, he was stubborn, and anybody uh, uh, who knew Michael personally um, uh, uh, both knew and respected the fact that when he set his sight on something, he did not waver. Uh, and uh, poverty warriors have to be stubborn given the intractable circumstances that we face. Michael was also profoundly optimistic, uh, an optimism uh, that shaped his belief that a scholar, a historian, could have an impact on the world uh, beyond uh, the walls of the university, not just through students, but through the creative urban studies program that he created, uh, as well as um, through broader uh, engagements with the polity. As Michael put it so well, and optimistically, one goal of studying the past is not to be trapped by history, but to transcend it. It is in that spirit that we move forward with today's conference uh, on uh, the 50th anniversary of the War on Poverty. But before uh, we uh, begin the conference, I have to um, uh, make a few uh, uh, statements of thanks to those who made this conference possible. First, um, I wanna thank uh, Penn Social Science and Policy Forum Administrator Matt, Matt Roth, um, who many of you have uh, already um, dealt with in terms of travel arrangements. Matt uh, is uh, indispensable, not only uh, did he do all the arrangements of the conference, but he also prepared uh, the, the, the the poster, the, the program. Uh, he is a, a talented designer in addition to being a talented scholar. I would also like to thank uh, the different divisions of the University of Pennsylvania that provided support to the Social Science and Policy Forum for today's event. The Penn Department of History, uh, the Penn uh, School of Social Policy and Practice and its Dean John Jackson who gave us a, a particularly generous contribution the Penn Urban Studies Program that Michael Katz was, of course, so indispensable to building uh, and sustaining, uh, and the Penn Institute for Urban Research, the university's major connecting institution for those of us concerned with urban issues. I'd also like to thank uh, Dean Wendell Pritchett and the University of Pennsylvania Law School for letting us use um, this beautiful facility. Before we move uh, into the first panel, um, I have a few matters of housekeeping. Um, if you are here for a uh, social uh, or welfare or social work CEU, you should talk to Matt and there's a sign up um, on the table outside. If you are using Twitter, and some of you are, we have a hashtag for this conference, which is WOP50, 
uh, War on Poverty 50, WOP 50. And so you can uh, post. Um, one of our panelists, uh, Merlin Chowquanian, is going to be um, uh, blogging uh, about today's conference uh, so that uh, it will reach an audience far beyond um, the walls of this building. In addition, uh, we're going to be live streaming and uh, putting online um, the entire proceedings of the conference uh, so that uh, those of you who are here uh, can go back and rewatch. And those of you, uh, or those of you who have friends or colleagues who aren't here who'd like to follow, you can give them the link. Uh, I should also finally add um, that the proceedings of this conference um, are going to be put together into a collection of essays that I'll be editing uh, with Alice O'Connor from the University of California at Santa Barbara, um, and we hope uh, to turn that into a book uh, very shortly.